Drake has an issue with uh, Universal Music. I've got the last part. Oh, anyway. my God. Mm. But UMG. <laughs> and uh, he's saying that they are inflating the streams of Not Like Us. My good brother, we just don't like you. <laughs> Hit that button. Thank you. We just don't like you. Yeah. It's nothing to it. We just don't like you, and you're not like us. Man, man, welcome back. Black Street Boys Show, episode numero ciento. Excelente. Right. As usual, yeah. Barbara, keep it arranged, brother. Man to my left. You got your boy D. Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Marsh, man, the menace. And your girl, Moth, like a dentist. Y'all know how we rocking, man. Man, you already know who it is. The Prez, the CEO, Raw Philosophies, Rob the God, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. Man, Patreon, Patreon Discord, Discord. Up every single week. I see y'all joining that Patreon. Much obliged. Appreciate y'all. If you're a free member right now, you, if you you will probably get like a little notification saying give you an offer, you get like a dollar fifty for your first paid month. So then it goes to three dollars. But appreciate you guys very much. We got extra three hour long podcasts. We got live streams every single week, extra segments every single week. Man, we appreciate you guys. And make sure if you're watching this, like the video. Man, like the video it helps us out a lot. Subscribe. I know a lot of y'all watch this every week, and y'all not subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe. Y'all watch this every single week. Y'all don't like? Go ahead and like. Appreciate. It. Don't take nothing. It's free ninety nine. Much obliged. Shout out to all the people that's on Spotify. Make sure to hit that follow button. We're trying to get our, reach our goals, get that all that stuff up. I appreciate y'all, man. But y'all, it's been a big week. Man, it's been a real week. big week. Great week. Real big weekend. Y'all already know. I'm sure y'all already done heard the album. Kendrick dropped the album. Mr. Goat dropped the album mm, on this go podcast man. known as The Goat. Go you man. feel me? And uh, let, let, let's, just, let's just talk about this. Let's, let's, what, what y'all think about it? First impressions or whatever. If you already feel like you got a number, whatever the hell. Oh, okay, so me being... One, a Kendrick Lamar fan, and being a music fan of the West Coast sound. Man, I've been waiting years for Kendrick to make a real West Coast project. Some real, yeah. some real, real West Coast sounds. I don't think he's done that since the Pimple Butterfly. I think that's the last one he kind of did that was real West Coast sounding. Now, you're not, you're not, it's not wrong at all. That is like the last one he that's did. That's the last one he did, and man. Ooh. Yeah, no. Chef's man. kiss. Chef's kiss on that Chef's one, Chef's kiss, yeah. I, I really enjoyed this album. I will say when I first listened to it, the first one through, I was like getting more mixtape vibes and albums, but as I continued to listen, I started hearing the the, the multi-layered mm -hmm. thematic messages inside of this man's project, man. man. It's this, album of the yeah. year. Yeah. It's just album of the year, yeah, man. Facts. Facts. I agree. Y'all agree? Yes. Yeah. Oh shit, we all agree. I'm, I'm just saying on this podcast, we we pro Kendrick. It's just it is, it is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. We got some people, you know, whining and crying about stuff, you know. That's okay. Fans, Drake himself. Mm -hmm. Uh we, we get into that a little bit. We can wait just a little a few more minutes at least before we get into that. Let's just talk about let's talk about that, man. That, this, yeah, first, I agree with you, Rob. First, yeah. listen. Uh it wasn't even mixtape vibes. It felt like an album to me. But I was just I just wasn't. And Kendrick always manages to recreate himself on the albums, but mm -hmm. I just I still wasn't expecting that. Yeah, not at all. I wasn't expecting that. So it's Kendrick, gotta it, expect it, that. It threw me, it threw me, it threw me off a little bit. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna lie. And I and I think all his albums are amazing. Like you know, he, I'm like you know as big of a Kendrick fan as it, as it gets really. And then, mm -hmm. you know, and I was listening to that a little bit. And I was like, mm -hmm. but the second listen, I was, I felt like a dumbass. <laughs> I swear, bro. <laughs> I was like, man, what the hell was I not seeing and hearing? Yeah. What the hell was I hearing? Maybe it was man. just early. It was too early, and I was just yeah. wasn't in the mood for it. It was too early in the day. I wasn't in the mood for listening to music or something like that, and I really wasn't. Maybe that was part of it, but no, nah, man. No, nah, legendary. Yeah, legendary. When I, first, when I first listened to it, I was trying not to just feed into the hype. Cause I seen my boy dropped. I seen the goat drop. I was like, oh man, it's gonna be tough. But I wanted to listen to it without bias. So I think that first listen around, I was just like, mm, I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, listen. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. This album was an emotional roller coaster the first time I listened to it. Yeah. This album made me want to cuss people out, yeah, yeah. rule the world, <laughs> go repent for my sins, <laughs> ask God for forgiveness, <laughs> and then slap my best homie. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a perfect way to describe the damn album. I like, ain't gonna lie. Bro, perfect. There were so many emotions and the second listen through, like keep in mind, I'm listening to this while I'm at work. Yeah. So okay. I got the outside world going, customers asking me stupid shit. 
And then in my head, I'm like, damn, this nigga's been like my favorite song. And this is when I knew that I fuck with the album. I think my okay, say it. Go ahead, guess. I'm, I'm, I'm just with you. Go ahead, saying. guess. Is it uh, is is it reincarnated or no? No, oh, it's, no not? it's not. Okay, Man of the Garden. I was going oh, yeah, my that's second mine. guess. I was yeah, doing yeah. my second guess. That yeah. album that my second had guess. me damn near in tears okay. because I was furious because I'm like, nigga, I should be ruling the world right now. What right, am I right. doing? <laughs> I, feel you that. I deserve no, it all, I, nigga. I no, all. I feel, and that's what? why I appreciate. Cause I see some people talking about Kendrick on like. And that's a big example of it, saying mm-hmm. that he sounds pretentious on the album. Like, and this has been a problem before because like, his career, he compared himself to Jesus and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people get upset at that. I really just think you need to look at yourself. Yes. Because even in the songs, he's talking about, hey, like the first song, Whacked Out Mirrors, he said, know that you're a God even when they say you ain't. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. you got to have that confidence in yourself. You got to know that you, 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 you like are a good person in yeah. general. Like, you know, you have good intentions. You know, you really tried your best to be the best person version of yourself, the best human you can be. Mm-hmm. And if you're doing that, whatever people want to say outside of it, it don't matter because they don't know you. Yeah. You have yeah. the confidence in mm-hmm. yourself at the end of the day. Yes. So what I got from that, when I got from that song, because that's also my favorite song on the album. I fucking love Man in the Garden. Yes. But I just got from it like hold yourself to a certain standard. Yes. You know, yeah. don't treat yourself like trash. You yes. are on the shelf of luxury and expensiveness, you know? Hell yeah. And that's that's just man, that that hit home, man. I deserve it all. Yeah, for yeah. real. <laughs> what? Yeah, I deserve it. For facts. No, for real, man. Cause yeah, if you know you putting that work in, you know you putting that work in, right? Man. And it's so easy to just criticize yourself. And that's natural. Mm-hmm. You should be able to criticize yourself, but it's like Finding that happy medium is, is 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 always difficult, man, of trying to remain humble, but also, you know, not wanting to come across pretentious. But sometimes you just got to do that, man. You got to yeah, do man. that. You deserve it. Mm-hmm. You, people should actually take it as a compliment if people do call you that. What, pretentious? Mm-hmm. So like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because conceded, they, the they can't be. see it within themselves, so they find it disgusting when they see it in others. Right. Ooh, that's bar. So, <laughs> so bar. That was bar. But nah, man, go just back at it again. He just back man, at it again. What? Back at it again. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful because I feel like this album came at such a good time for me. It always does. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it life been, do. life been life in y'all know how mm-hmm. I go. And just hearing that album, just my week was just damn near changed from that album alone. Like it gave me a new perspective on what I'm facing in my own world, man. It's yeah. just insane. It's insane. It, I just like because when I listen to Kendrick, this makes me want to just be better. In yes. General. Like every time yeah. he comes a new album. It's, Every time he drops a new album, it just makes me want to be a better version of myself, and that's that's what's important. Hell yes. yeah, and that's opens, just, that's opens what's important for like even kids. Yeah, he can Kendrick can go on there and, and cuss and say whatever, but at the end of the day, you can walk away with something real positive. And so I think something like this is good for even kids. I'll listen to my kid could be eight years old. I play this damn album for him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how many niggas and f bombs he drop. Not at all. No, nah, because it's Mars. real stuff though. Yeah. Mars. Real though. Mm-hmm. Mars. Like, come Mars. on, man. Yeah. No, Somebody that album is amazing. Now. We know he's playing for the Super Bowl. Okay. I cannot wait. If we get up on that stage and say, Mustard! <laughs> no. that's, that's gonna hype me up, bro. Now, I don't I want, really give a damn about Super Bowl halftime shows. Yeah. I really don't. I want people to notice the timing of this drop. The timing is impeccable. Could be no better timing than after they, a little while after they announce he's gonna be, you know, performing for the Super Bowl. He needs that song right there is a suit. That's a that's a hype song anyway. That's Super Bowl energy yeah. anyway. What, TV yeah. yeah, yeah, TV all. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I was playing it hey, on the way here. Patreon, we're gonna be doing a tier list on all the songs yes. on the album. Yes. So yes. so make sure y'all slide in the Patreon. We we've been doing fun stuff like that Why? every single week. Mm-hmm. Once again, link in the description for all the platform. You know, three dollars. Oh, you know, yes. dollar fifty for some of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but no, for real though. Uh, favorite track. I ain't gonna lie. The tracks I've been playing the most have been Squabble Up. Of course, I think that's gonna be like the biggest hit off that album. Mm-hmm. TV off. Hey now, I love Hey now. Yeah, I've been playing. Hey a lot now, of now. I was bit. listening to that. Hey hey now, now. Hey hey man. Man. And, and then I ain't gonna lie, that scissor. Not no, I don't even have. To, why, why, why am I saying I don't gotta lie? Man, that scissor song, the song nah. with scissor. Oh my god, Luther. Fire. Oh my lord, man, Fire. that song is amazing. Fire. That's and such Jack. a beautiful song. I, I do love Luther. Man. Oh my god, man. That oh those are god. the four I've been playing the most. Are those like the best in my opinion? The, uh, they are four of the best, but the best track I think to me is probably Reincarnated. I was gonna say Reincarnated, reincarnated. for the real fans who listen to Cali music, nigga. That is a Tupac song that he no. remade. Yeah, even if you've never listened to Tupac, it just like you just you, you know, just heard, yeah, you just know like you, you know Tupac. Shout out my homie Neek. He played. I forgot the name of the song already, but he played the original song oh, in the yeah. car while we uh-huh. were smoking. Yeah, because yeah, the beat's very much like 
the main part of the beat is very, it's the exact same thing. It's yeah. a sample from a Tupac song. Mm. Yeah, Man yeah. of the Garden has one mic vibe. Yeah, it. no, it does. Straight up. It, no, it's, it was an interpretation of it. That's like, what I thought. Of, yeah, uh, when I heard uh, it, I'm when like... I first heard it, it reminded me of one mic. Yeah, yeah and I was in yeah. the, I was in the nah, aisles at my yeah. job, mm -hmm. and I was just looking up, and I'm like, dang, this, I feel like a kid again. Like, Because that's when right. I heard, first heard one mic. And I'm like, <laughs> why do I feel like a kid with this song? But then I'm Bro. like, doom. Bro, the space of everything. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's yeah, that's one mic. I'm like, yeah, that's cold. He did his own, he did his whole different, his whole own thing on that. And it's I, go, I, I man, it's go, it's go, it's go, man. We we try to tell y'all, yeah, we try to tell y'all for a long time, man, on this show. But just in general, man, we've been, we've been, man, we've been trying. Man, I just don't understand. Ten years, ten years, we try to tell people to he's the goat. In the back in middle school, in they the didn't understand. Spanish integrations were beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, the first mm -hmm. song I think the lady said, uh, "The night is yours." Something, I mean, I gotta, I gotta, re yeah. I gotta, re I gotta re-listen to it. The night is yours. Cause I got Mexican homies texting me like that shit was hard. Like the Spanish that shit, shit is love that shit. Yeah, I'm like, bro, he, I just, I, he, what else can you mm -hmm. say? What else can you say, and man? I just love the unity they try to bring, like with LA. Like you talked about that in reincarnate and wanting to bring peace to LA. On this album, he got, you know, on this album, on the pop up or the pop out show, whatever, he got Crips, Bloods, Migos, Mexicans. Mm -hmm. And he got the same thing on the damn album. Like, it's, it's, great, it's crazy. Bro. It's crazy. GNX man. is definitely on a repeat. Tell him Kendrick did it. What? Yeah, man. I also, like you said, he's doing the unity. But I also like that he's not afraid to call motherfuckers out. Yeah, yeah. I like, love that. Like Snoop. Yes. I love that. Like Snoop, when he posted that Taylor made thing, he called him out for that. Yeah. He right. said, pray was the edibles. And Snoop said it was the yeah, edibles. Exactly. Now he's trying to... He, gave, he gave him his keys, though. He did. He gave him his keys. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And I, I never felt some type of way about Snoop. I was confused. But like, yeah, I was confused. Exactly. Now, I feel like, yeah, probably how can Now that we're talking confused. about calling niggas out, let's get to oh, the meat and potatoes, man. Mm -hmm. Now, man, we know how I feel about Drake on this podcast, man. <laughs> Y'all know. And now, for the record, for all the fans, it could have been any rapper. Oh, you could have been any rapper. Oh, yeah. It could have been anyone. I would have been on 18. I don't give a damn who it is. I don't give a damn who it is. Man, I was rooting for Pusha T, god damn it. <laughs> nigga, I don't even listen to Pusha T, god damn it. I do. Pusha I was great. rooting for that nigga. Rooting for Meek Mill. <laughs> I was rooting for Meek. Now, when he took the L, I took the L with him. I said, fuck it. Meek, you went up to par. That's okay. It, it wasn't okay. Right, you can't win them all. It was the back to back, like, hey, hey, can't win them all, man. Can't win them all. Back to back was a great track. Very great. But um, now, Drake has an issue with uh, Universal Music. I've got the last part. Oh anyway. my god! Mm -hmm. But UMG, <laughs> and uh, he's saying that they are inflating the streams of "Not Like Us." Yeah, mm -hmm. my good brother, brother in Christ. Not inflation. We just don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that button. Thank you. We just don't like you. Yeah, it's nothing to it. We just don't like you, and you're not like us. But. It I is never that not hypocritical? Oh. It is. Because Drake, you know, they they be glazing Drake about how you know how his numbers stay high all the time mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. How you how why you don't say that about your numbers? Uh yeah, it's tough. And and thing is, even if they did, like even if they did inflate numbers, like at this point, like, do any of us give a damn? I yeah, don't think real. so. I don't think I don't think so. I don't think we are with nigga. We yeah. all agree that you lost. Mm -hmm. I contribute, <laughs> I contribute to the inflation. 500k yeah. streams from me alone. <laughs> 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 hey, for real though. That's why I like it's living proof. Man, I was playing that song every day, multiple times a day. Yeah, multiple no, times a day. It was crazy. That the song was a meme. Fun. It's, it's the, the best song dish was a meme. all time. Yes. What? Like, it was crazy. LA, all of LA crib walking to that shit. Still. <laughs> still. Blood's it, crib walking. It was Bloods. getting played everywhere, bro. Catch the themselves by doing it, but just, you know. I'm sorry, Drake. You're just not like us. We don't like you. Yeah, you know, it's just more and more. I'm just like, yeah, this just. I, I haven't been able to really listen to Drake since that. I'm just being honest. I'm yeah, sorry. for real. Yeah, I'm, I'm being honest. When I said that around some of my homies, like, no, nah, man, no, nah. bro. Uh, like, I will hear. I just that's just what I hear now, mm -hmm. bro. I hear that, and then now it like gets us. even worse. It's like, damn, mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, damn. Now, do we think um, the criticism of Lil Wayne is fair? Well, I'm mean, what way of taking uh taking it personally, mm -hmm. taking everything personally? Y yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lil Wayne should not have been doing that damn Super Bowl. With it. I'm not gonna lie. Since if to all the Lil Wayne fans, a lot of them are realists. No, Samaj. Okay, Samaj. All right. 
I, I like how he Lil went Wayne straight is, to because Lil, Wayne, Lil, okay. Wayne is, Lil Wayne is his goat. Lil Wayne is my his goat. goat. My goat. Is his goat. And, I, and I will not refute that. I'm not going to say and argue that. No. no. I'm not, that, that, it okay. makes sense. Okay. Okay. I want, for, before is you Lil even Wayne, start, before y'all even start, for one, uh, Lil Wayne has never won a beef. Um, hit that button. That, yeah. Not a battle rap. He's never won no like real rap beef because... Um, to be honest, he doesn't have to even entertain it. He was really on what Kendrick was on years ago. Kendrick, before Kendrick even said anything to Drake, he was not minding no beef. He did not give a fuck who had a problem with him. But um, I want people to know Wayne definitely has that in him. Now, as far as the Super Bowl, no, Wayne cannot perform. Wayne probably... Thank you. That's all I was trying to say. Wayne, Wayne can't perform. Wayne probably should have performed because there have been multiple Super Bowls at, in, in Orleans, if I'm not yes, mistaken. thank you. So, with that being said, he should have performed years ago. But he knew his songs better? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. He, he, for one, for okay. one, yes. And two... He doesn't. I don't. People don't understand. He doesn't write Thank any you. of his songs. Yes. So yes. now that he has so many songs that he has not written, there is almost impossible for him to recite every song y'all right. want him to perform. Right. I'm just trying to say, and you can and say like he could. He has time to learn, but it's like, come on, man. Honestly, come on. For for the real little Wayne listeners, Wayne has has multiple versions of multiple songs. Like yes. there is not a single yeah. version for like. So for him to remember a specific version that y'all want him to rap is going to be nearly impossible. So him rap, him performing for the Super Bowl was that wasn't going to happen anyway. I'm sorry to say it. Lil Wayne makes sense if you bring him out for a portion of the Super Bowl. Like mm -hmm. it's his hometown. Kendrick, I think that could have happened. Kendrick might do that anyway. I'm not going to lie to you. He might do it. He mm -hmm. might do it, but he also might not. I, it. I don't know. If I'm Kendrick, am I doing it? I, I actually might still I, I would, I, I would. I think I would just, too. I would. You see how he did with um? Because Wayne was trying, wasn't trying to. I forgot nobody. what performance it was, but he brought out someone that was from their city. I forgot who the fuck it was. Uh, uh it was a pop out uh, uh performance too. I think it was like 2019 or some shit. Oh, I don't know, man. But, but just, he does, he does things like that anyway. So everyone who's mad, he's gonna bring him out anyway. Shut the fuck up. Go sit down. I think him. we're ignoring a huge piece of this though. Mm -hmm. Just because the Super Bowl <laughs> is in your goddamn city. Does not mean you should Thank perform you. there. Thank you. That is not that a common only thing. That happened like, like what a couple <laughs> times. What? Right. That's only happened yeah. a few goddamn times. That is not a thing. It's that's not. just that's just a precedent that's always been there. That doesn't that, that doesn't have to happen. <clears throat> like this is a very rare occurrence for you to have the same city that you grew up in that you perform at that Super Bowl. And for my again for my music listeners who really deep in the shit like me, everybody knows Jay Z decides who the fuck performs for Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> One yeah, and yeah, two, yeah, yeah, Jay Z does not fuck with Lil Wayne, Factual. or Birdman. Factual. Damn. So I'm keeping the bug. I don't know why. I don't, I'm yeah, surprised I, nobody knows this. That's another thing. I'm not for sure how you people are surprised by this. Like honestly, like Lil Wayne not performing there because of that right there. I know he wasn't performing. Like if it's been did, documented. It's for been years. It, yeah. Birdman and Jay Z do not fuck with each other. And for, again, for the niggas who know, Jay Z was gonna sign Wayne, but Wayne still went back and thinking he was gonna be cool with Birdman after not releasing albums. And Jay Z said, "Nah, you're good, buddy." I just don't get so, surprised. I don't get it. Yeah, no. I, I and I and I, I I'm a big Wayne fan too. Every time Wayne's on a song or he drops, now I'm listening to it. I, mean, I think we all are. But like yeah. I'm saying, like he's never been a good performer, man. Look up his mm -hmm. performances on YouTube, man. They none of them are really good like that. And you look at a Kendrick performance. Even if like you're not the biggest fan, of it, you can look at his his performances and tell that he goes all out. He puts his all into the performances. So like he's done that. On big stages, small stages, it don't matter. So it makes sense for him to do that. Once again, everyone who's mad, blame Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that button. Hit that blame button. Because that bird, of the blame, stray in there. blame Birdman. And Birdman, I know he has a a a, uh, a record of pulling up on niggas for talking crazy. It's bars. <laughs> not talking crazy. But... Yeah, man, we're going to talk about the album more. We're going to rank it. We're going to do a tier list on all the songs on there, on the Patreon. Make sure I slide to the Patreon. Mm -hmm. Yo, if you want. Of course, that's your decision. Y'all mm -hmm. just listening for free, man. That means the most to us, too. But y'all just move on. Rob, what you got? Yeah, mm -hmm. man. So we are moving off the topic a little bit, but it's still talking about the album. Um, so after Kendrick dropped GNX, I've been seeing a lot of stuff online about the man, the myth, the legend, J. Cole. 
They keep on saying that J. Cole has still not been out rapped this year. Who the hell saying that? J. Cole fans? J. Cole fans, really. Okay. It's, oh, all yeah, over, it's all over Twitter, though. They're talking about Daylight and Pi and okay. all that shit on the mixtape. No, one, no one's okay. listening to no that. No one's bumping that. J. Cole fans. Okay. No one's bumping that. And I, I, want, I, I am okay, a J. Cole ahead. fan, but I, you it, know, I'm not listening to that shit. Exactly, though. And hold on, let me finish. Actually, ahead. I'm not hating. So, look, I, I love J. Cole, right? Gotcha. I love J. Cole. I be hating on him sometimes because I don't like that he backed up out of the beef. I don't like that he backed up out of the beef. Um... But Daylight and Pi, those are amazing songs. They're good. They're good songs. But to say that those songs matched up against the songs in GNX and you're saying Kendrick's not out rapping him is just absolutely insane. He has a super, he has a yeah. super punchline heavy focused music group. He's his storytelling, although it is good. It's a very direct and personal approach. It doesn't have much complexity in it. Thank you. I just don't understand how people even put him on the same level of lyricism as Kendrick Lamar. Because they just don't want to think that hard, okay. Rob. They don't want to think that hard At while they all. do it. They just want, and even Ken, Kendrick has songs like that too, though. Like Act Out Mirrors. Mm -hmm. He's just like, hey, fuck a double entendre. I want y'all to just feel this shit. Right. But sometimes it's more than just double entendres and like whatever the hell else, similes and metaphors that they, when it comes into deep writing. It's yes. just like... Sometimes people just look at it from a surface level. Oh, nigga, drop the basketball bar. Oh, I dropped 30 like Steph Curry. Oh, shit, he dropped the bars. Like, nigga, no. He did not drop bars like that. There's so much more to it. If you actually try to, like, have an understanding of it, not just, like, listen to it for a while and, like, no, this not as deep. Because some people get into that whole thing where they just mm -hmm. have to be different. Oh, yeah. they're saying it's this, so it can't be that. So it's like, they, or they'll take, like, it's when you got Drake fans. They'll take mm -hmm. obvious parts of like when Kendrick just having fun, that's all it is. Like on Peekaboo. Mm -hmm. Or the case may like the bing boom pop pop pow type yeah. of shit I'm on. They this think, is, oh, you think this, this is your Y'all think y'all so deep, blah, this blah, 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 this net. You got niggas talking about, oh, just play it, wait till they play it backwards. It's gonna be mm -hmm. it's like y'all not spitting. Y'all mm -hmm. not spitting at all, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like he's obviously trying to just have fun on the <laughs> exactly, song. Exactly, bro. And that's a that's a super, that's a super hot fire reference anyway. So. Right. Come on. Cool. Come on. <laughs> but still. Now, niggas with this J. Cole shit. J. Cole might have been up there with Kendrick. 15 years ago. No, Damn. No, 15 years ago? Nigga, we 23. I mean, not 15, 10. My fault, 10. No. no. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. Nigga, no, we, 2014? Yes. No. Yes, no. yes, no, they were different. 2014, Kendrick's last album was goddamn, uh, was, was, it, was it not Good Kid, Mad City? What, is that 2014, Good Kid, Mad City? I thought Good Kid, Mad City was 2012. That's I know, but that was like his, that's his most Fab? recent album. No, 20, that's 2015. That's 2015. 2014 is Forest Hills Drives, ain't it? Either way, you're going to compare the out closest to t Regardless, right. Here, Good Kid, Mad City, or t Pab to Forest Hill? No. That, they're the closest to tier then, is what I'm trying to say. They're okay, the but they're still, sure. they're they're still the a big gap that's in fair. between the two. No, they were the closest in tier then. Nigga, Kendrick has had though. so many no. of it was a gargantuan gap between them. I'm sorry. I can't. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Okay, you know what? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm a rock. It was, it was, come on, it was, it was still this. big gap. I wouldn't say that. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't say that. But, that being in eighth grade, yes, I'm just bumping both of them. Like, I, but back then, yeah, okay, from sure. my mentality back then, For I remember. was like, yeah, no, they come are. On, okay. They, it's cold. They, they were, they were almost close in tier, but. If you constructively look at the projects today, Good yeah, Kid Mad City versus okay. Forest Hill Drive. Fair. Sammy Dot alone. T-Pad versus fair. Forest Hill Okay, Hill. that's, that's fair. Not, that's fair. fair. That's fair. And but again, fair. like but I, I said, saying, though. Yeah, back I when we were minimizing, <laughs> like back when we were minimizing the amount of artists and <laughs> no. shit, yes, okay. they were the closest Cole to back list. then was like, it was, it was less of like a, it, it was a debate, don't get it twisted, but like people actually took that debate more seriously. seriously yeah. Now if you're like a Kendrick fan this whole entire time. Kendrick has had project after project after project of straight evolution. Where have we seen this nigga J. Cole evolve? Now that's bars. Okay. Please I, tell me that. Because I, I, be real though. Be real. I, be real. I, when has the he evolved? projects after Forest Hills. He's better. No. They've tailed okay. off. Yes uh, or no? no. He can't no. he can't carry a project. For your eyes, Sorry. for your eyes only is is um, okay, this is my opinion. This mm -hmm. is my opinion. I think for eyes only is his second best project. I think that's the second best What's project. What's his first? Forest Hills Drive. Oh, okay. You don't you, you For don't your mean, eyes only is second best? What Boris in your yes. number three? No. Born Center, yeah, probably. Yeah, born Center number one for me. Yeah, Born Center, my I'm favorite. I'm not going to lie, Born no. Center's number one. You're no, tweaking. I think that's, born Center I think y'all tweaking. Born Center, <laughs> born Center was bloated. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he had some interludes on there, but. Born Center was I bloated, but I, I think Born Center was really good, but like, nah, Born Center's Hills Drive, nice Four Eyes Only, Concise. Very much like, I don't know. Like, he had There's his, no he had his themes on all of them. You're not putting on, I might delete this later on there? 
No. no. I just fucking with him. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. No, this nigga just chatting. <laughs> I want to see his face. I forgot the album he dropped in 2022. What, what, which one was that? It was like five. I forget in the, the name of it. It was 95 South on yeah. Air. Ass. Uh, that was not ass. Don't do that. Uh, it wasn't ass. Yeah, was it just didn't ass. hold weight. That. It was breaking records the first week and then it just fell Nigga. off. Yeah. It, if no your music value. has no replay value, yeah. Very if I if it's not gonna keep me <laughs> listening to it, <laughs> but the off season. The off season. The off season has replay value. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll, 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 off season has some replay not, value. Let's not let's not let's not just too much because like I'm bash we, we make oh, it I'm seem like we're just not even that. fans of the band at all. I love J. Cole. I love, I J. Cole. love J. Cole, but I'm not listening. It don't going sound like it this whole entire time. Though. Not, well, that's because mm-hmm. we're comparing it to the criminal. That's the, the that's the that's 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 the problem. Yeah, not listening. That's the to hard that. part. It's yeah. just like, but thing is, if you compare. Stop <laughs> putting J. Cole in the conversations, man. That's what I'm please, saying. Please, yeah. please. It, it, just, it, it just gets so redundant because J. Cole, I'm sorry. I've been saying this for the past like six years. He's not the best on his label. Mm-hmm. Jay is better than J. Cole. He's been Jay, like that for years. Jay, Jay mm-hmm. is better than J. Cole. He's been like that for years. <laughs> if I would take, I would take Jay's last album, and I hate doing this because they're on the same label. I know they love each other. I, I love both mm-hmm. artists. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but <laughs> I take Forever Story. Damn near over, over J. Cole's whole catalog. catalog. I'm just being honest. That album is amazing. Hey, not even damn near, bro. Sorry. Forest, it, 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 it's <laughs> arguably better than Forest Hill Drive. If not, Burst. just like, it's 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 better. I'm, it's better. I'm it's sorry. objectively better. It's, it's, it's better. objectively better, bro. It's better. Oh, I'm sorry. Objectively, it, it is better. People on, will say Forest Hill. His Hills. theme, instrumentation, mm-hmm. his flows, mm-hmm. all that versatility, he's, he's, he's better. Is, is he's that, better. Is that the album with uh, Heredity on it? That, oh, that's no, the that's, Never Story, but yeah. that, that album's that arguable as well. That one's no, the, the best. That one's really better than everything J. The, Cole the got, Never honestly. Too. Man, the, the Forever Story. The are good, too. I'm sorry, it's One better. Two. Anybody no, saying that it's not is better is album. just holding that Forest Hill Drive like nostalgia. Literally, and literally. I, I, and I just let go of that like three years ago. I just still amazing. It's a classic album. I just let go of that shit. It's timeless. I just let go No Roll Miles still hits the same to me. Facts. Facts. Yeah, bars. That's Come on. Like, I'll have a... I just, it's hard, man, because I love J. Cole. But yeah. it's like, why do we keep doing we gotta, this? We got to stop comparing And J. Cole him, also did it to himself, though. I know. He, did. he talked all this shit about Kendrick's albums, and then he went and apologized. Yeah, it's it's just, like, it's, so it's tough. It's, it's yeah. tough because he also does the same shit. Exactly. He was talking shit, and it really is, fuck the big three, it's just big me. I'm sorry. Kendrick's the GOAT. And it's not even close. <laughs> oh, you slobbing. No, bro. No. Like, the man's just, he's just, no. he's just fucking good. I don't know no. what to tell you guys. He's talented. Like, people that extremely. Say, the people that say we be slobbing. Their favorite artist be Dookie. I know. You know what? <laughs> no. You know what? <laughs> nigga, you know listen what? to no cap. And, and, like, and, and, and honestly, like, come on, Polo man. G? Like, uh, nigga, what? Although, <laughs> although Kendrick is a lyricist, I put him in the category as lyricist. I do. Yes. He keeps proving to you niggas he can be more than just, a, just lyricist. a lyricist. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand why y'all keep throwing him in the pot. Although, that's where he is. He does way more than that, and you niggas just can't fathom it. Comparing it's okay. him to Lupe Fiasco just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Lupe Fiasco is an amazing rapper. And I'm a, la- I'm a Lupe in terms of a t- In terms of like technicality, all of that, the man mm-hmm. teach, teaches damn uh, lessons about poetry. At, uh, I think it's MIT and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yes, he's from Chicago too, from so far around the same area as us. So mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not going down talk Lupe Fiasco. But every time it was brought up Lupe Fiasco versus Kendrick, you know, no one really fucking cares about that. That argument like, holds unless no it's a way. certain cult following that does, does that. <laughs> but I was just like, y'all argument know. It's, no just, it's just no. Well, you take everything, all the cat when it comes to the instrumentation, <laughs> taking the risk, it comes to, to, die, it comes to theme. Like, like all, no, all these things, all these things matter. All these things matter. And Kendrick mm-hmm. just has the best combination of all three. I, I equate him I to like a LeBron, Lupe even if you don't yeah. think it's LeBron's the GOAT. But like, mm. I think like, yeah, he just that debate. Goat. In terms of longevity too, consistency, like mm-hmm. all his albums. People this, try to like, just get tired of him. So, Mr. Morale, like, oh, it's not that good. No. I'm so sick of the Mr. Morale hate. I can't stand it. But to speak to yeah. what I was just saying before, niggas be putting him on the level of crazy artists. I'm in the comments section. Niggas talking about, yeah, uh, 10 artists better than Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Gunna, right Ian, there. Yeet, Lucky, yeah, they just, they uh, Ken but like, Carson. But like, but I'm like, are you serious? But look at, but look at the type of the artists, demographic. Look, yeah, the mm-hmm. demographic and the but, type of artists they're putting but, out. Yeah. Like, they not... Big, they not speaking on no rap with sus, substance. Thank you. That's what I'm like, saying. Like that's niggas like that. I've raised to stop taking see, even the Drake fans too. Mm-hmm. And to to a certain degree, J Cole fans because they listen to music for reasons different than like your uh, the standard Kendrick Lamar fan. Like mm-hmm. to be honest with you, it's just like I'm not gonna sit here and say, "Oh, we smart or whatever." No, we mm-hmm. just listen to music for different reasons. It, mm-hmm. It's important to have people like I think it's important to have people like Drake. 
that drop yes, albums yeah. like views and like yes. hits like that. But like you know, also like Kendrick said, maybe it should just stay that. All this other stuff, bring this fucking shit up. Hell yeah, I agree. Um, shit for them niggas who think anybody is better than Kendrick. Uh, for what? There's nobody in the East Coast or Midwest better than Kendrick. Put that there. You hit that button. You can put that there. The only competition Kendrick has might be probably Southern rappers and other Cali rappers. That's even a in good that- ass comparison. Hmm. The LeBron James shit. That's a good ass yeah, comparison. Yeah, I've been thinking that. Because if you think about it, LeBron is not quote unquote known as a scorer, but he has the most points. But hmm. Kendrick is known as a lyricist, but this man has a buttload of songs of different shit, on the right? charts. For a millennia of time. I look at Good Kid Mad City has never left the charts. That's a fact. It has, that's something that Drake has not, that he not even he has done. That mm. album has not that's left the fact. damn charts. Mm-hmm. That's a good ass comparison, Brandon. I'm wow. Just saying. I'm Old just goat. Saying. But we, we this ain't <laughs> oh, he fucking go. I'm just trying to say. Who else can do it? It's like, dude, because Kendrick Lamar does not rap on a mainstream, like he does not rap on a mainstream level in terms of like uh uh the commercial aspect. Mm-hmm. That's why it's so amazing. He's an anomaly because he managed to not be mainstream whatsoever in his presentation, and he's still, still fucking mainstream. mainstream. Mm-hmm. Like, Jay-Z has uh, never done that. Yeah, no. That, well, that, he, he, not to the level of Kendrick. Well, yeah. um, to the niggas who are Jay-Z ghosts, Jay-Z's never done that. Sorry. I know. I was talking that's, to somebody that's old about motherfuckers, though. <laughs> Jay-Z, they was saying, nah, I had a homie that was saying. Nas than Jay-Z. Factual. Say. Factual. So factual. Because the um, longevity thing. Trying to um, They were saying that Jay-Z has never been the uh, biggest of his era. They, okay, okay, and okay, okay. True, and that is bars, man. Let, let me let me argue this because there's so many people that keep telling me that, that oh, he had the songs with Riri and then fuck all that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, in 2004 and 5, do you know whose album was three times over Jay-Z's? Ludacris. Yep. <laughs> Ludacris yeah. had an album over Jay Z. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Hold on, we fuck with but, you, Ludacris. But Ludacris. We, fuck, right, we fuck with you, Luda. But Ludacris okay. had a better album than Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> no sound. Shut up, man. No, man. <laughs> man. But, he right there. What the fuck you talking about? Die. <laughs> die. <laughs> I would like to play him in like a song. Some that would be nice. That would be <laughs> nice. That would be nice. A biopic? Yeah. I would like like his son or something? Oh, no, like a biopic. I would play him in like some. some like a high school Luda. Whatever the hell. Yeah, that'd be cold. Whatever the I'll do right. it. Hey, sign but, him up, man. But Ludacris yeah. has like multiple Grammy nominations for oh, like, albums. Facts. Yeah. That's facts. one thing. That's what how big of artist he was at that time. Jay Z doesn't. I don't think. And also, Kanye. Jay Z has one. Of course, Lil Wayne. Fifty mm-hmm. Cent for a while. DMX. Fifty Cent was over Jay Z for four years straight. So, Pretty sure DMX had him beat. But too. you could also say that Kendrick was never the biggest artist of of his uh, generation of of any era or whatever because it was kind of always Drake numbers wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yes. Facts. Yes. But, so I don't think that plays a lot. That's saying the numbers thing doesn't. But it's just now it's interesting because now Kendrick is doing the numbers too. So like, like right now he's, he's always like, been negative. Like, say that, now type kind of like album sales kind yeah. of. Uh, whenever no, whenever he drops, that. he has been. Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers was his lowest album sales we ever seen from him. ever. But. Yeah, okay, we, we, we gotta move on though, man. It's just hmm. we, 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 I can talk, we, we can talk about this all day. Yeah, I can talk music all day. Yeah, bro. Oh my goodness. Man, but, uh, this was originally supposed to be a music podcast. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> DJ, what the hell are you talking about, man? Oh man, I I ran across the uh, interesting prompt. Mm-hmm. For fifty thousand dollars, would you change your first name? You yeah. can keep the last one, but you gotta change the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's easy. That's mm, easy, bro. No. No, I can I I I understand. I can understand. I can understand for some odd yeah, no. DJ, why, why won't you change yours? I would not change mine. Fifty thousand dollars? It ain't enough. Wait, fifty thousand? Ain't enough. Y'all names make sense. I get why y'all say that. Hmm? No, yeah, no, my name, my name doesn't make sense. I want to continue my lineage. I'm the third. Yeah, I'm. I, nah, man, I'm. I'm, I'm, a junior, I'm a junior without being a dropping junior. fifty grand in my account to change my name. I'll get that motherfucker changed back. Honestly, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Honestly, you can't do that. That's a good one, though. But my that's name's that's just, just my name's just Brandon, though. Like, you know yeah, it makes I mean? sense. I, I, honestly, like, no, I might change my name. Like, well, might, what would you Kunta. change it to? Kunta? Keith? Probably Keith. Kunta is crazy. I said Kunta. Kunta is crazy. I'd probably change my name to James. That makes sense. My dad's name. Keep it be like James Ship II. I feel like Samaj is. That's it. It is. See, now I wanted my son named to be James, so his son has to be named Samaj to keep it going. So that'd be fire. That'd be fire. That, bro, that'd be raw as fuck. That's going to be fire. 
it just went alternating. That's yeah, that would be wrong as fuck. Huh? Oh, my name. Hell no. I ain't changing my name. No way. Now, my name, me and my name have went through a, a, a rocky history. You know, <laughs> growing is. up. Um, Claymont. Die. Um, <laughs> growing up, you know, people in school and would make fun of my name and call me Dinosaur and mm -hmm. Denarius and mm -hmm. all kind of crazy shit. I think and then yeah, the substitutes, you know, would come in and they do the little embarrassing d d stuttering, like, you know, slow his, motherfucker his, or something. This, this nigga's name's not hard to say. It's not, for one. It's really not. And it's I really think not. I learned in, like, sixth grade, this nigga, go ahead. Let you go. Now, there is niggas that I'm very close with that still fuck my name up. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> I spelled yeah. it. I spelled it wrong the other day. He definitely did. So, a couple weeks <laughs> um, ago. It was all right, though. But I wouldn't change it because I figured out my dad told me that. You just passed gas, man? No. Oh. My bad. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, <was> crazy, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know the heck any guys going on, nigga. No, my dad told me that he, uh, my parents derived the name from Romans. Yeah, um, I was going to say, I learned that shit in middle school. It means, you know, money, comparably 10 ass, which 10 ass in Rome is it's a lot of money. Don yeah, 10, mm -hmm. ten donkeys. Um, and on top of that, I just, do, I do like the uniqueness of it. Now, for the longest time, I've gone by DJ. But now that I'm trying to step into the corporate world, I will be going by my actual name, Denarius, from now on. Now, outside of that, I'll be still be DJ. But inside the corporate world, like when I get my accounting job or whatever, it's Drake Denarius. I don't want to hear no DJ. Mm -hmm. like, you got to address me as, you know, me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, no, nah, I can't get rid of it, man, because my mama gave me that name and, you know, she she likes that name. So for that reason, I got to keep that motherfucker. No, I, I like your name. I, I probably never have, never will meet anyone with that same name. So Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wonder what I would change my name to, man. But fifty thousand, shit, fifty thousand no, is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I definitely thought about I can do it. A lot with fifty thousand. You definitely can. No, you I, definitely I can. can use fifty right just now. Like, just like you know what I'm saying. Mm. Just like stuff yeah, that to you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Hide yeah. your savings account. Something. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. My Carl. Yeah. Facts. Nah, I would do it, man. But Samaj, what, what 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 you talking about? It's the holiday <laughs> season, man. It's <laughs> holiday <laughs> season, man. And as I'm scrolling through Roku. Nigga, Facebook, Instagram, yes, Roku. Yeah, what the fuck is Niggas are talking Roku? about. Nigga, that's, that, uh, that's the Avatar, nigga? What are you talking no, about? No, Roku right. is the, the TV service. Oh, my bad. Streaming service thing. You're TV. scrolling on Roku? Yeah, scrolling, yeah. like oh, looking God. for streaming apps and shit. Okay. And there's nothing but fucking that. Christmas movies and shit. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> Why you mad, nigga? That's nigga, we haven't even had Thanksgiving yet. <laughs> nigga, you know I'm not trying to hear that. 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 It's Black Friday. Niggas buying stuff. I'm not trying to hear that. Nigga, I want to see some Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Giving special shit. Do, do, I want to what? Do, 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 fuck all that. Do, I want to see do, 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 some some real Thanksgiving shit. We don't have no Thanksgiving movies like that. We do, but we don't. What the fuck you? What what, what movie are you making out of Thanksgiving? Right, yeah, Thanksgiving. Like I mean, I guess you could. Nigga, duh, yeah, like, you definitely could. You definitely could. Definitely you could, could do like a family reunion movie or something. You definitely like could. Make that we have a couple black movies like that. <laughs> exactly. like, we definitely do. But still, yeah, yeah. shit. Promote that shit. <laughs> Nah, facts. That's nah, facts, though. Promote that that's shit. An, that's an American thing, man. Nigga, Thanksgiving is a is a, is a, a, a holiday to be thankful for. Y'all cannot be thankful for the holiday you Just skip straight to Christmas. <laughs> nah, fuck that's you, niggas. Nah. That's facts, though. Fuck yeah. you, niggas. As soon as yeah, Halloween is over. Yeah, you ain't thankful for the shit if you just strike the Christmas. Oh, yeah, we don't really care about this that much. Y'all ain't thankful. Facts. That is bars. As soon as Halloween is over, niggas just jump straight to Christmas. Y'all yeah. forget well, I mean, Pilgrims died for this shit, nigga. Yeah, but Pilgrims is also Not Pilgrims. Uh, 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 Native, uh, Americans. Native Americans died facts. for this shit, nigga. <laughs> I guess a couple pilgrims probably died. Oh, mm. for sure. Yeah. Them, they, no fucking yeah. niggas go down without a fight. Yeah, they, 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 they caught a few shit, spears and arrows <laughs> <and> shit. <laughs> oh, God. You know, bro, them niggas died mm. for that shit, nigga. You better celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all know me. <laughs> they call me them, you know, the walking Grinch. Mm -hmm. Fuck Christmas, man. Oh, my God. That shit's childish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all terrible. Around these parts, man. Around these parts, we harp, huh? we harp on Thanksgiving. Why? Good food and being thankful. But mm -hmm. you don't cook nothing, nigga. I do, bitch. <laughs> what you cook on Thanksgiving? <laughs> this week, this month, this year, I have prepared week, month, mashed yeah. potatoes. Fuck you, nigga. I fucked that up. But yeah. Okay, this he year, doing something. Yeah, I take nah, it back. Stop that. Yeah, stop take that. Take it back. The last two years, I told my mom, I said, look, y'all been cooking, you know, food for us for a long time. We be fucking it up. Mm. This year, you know, I'm going to bring something to the table. It is time. Every to take year the now. Man. And she said, you know what? Food. That's a good idea. So she called my sister, and she like, what the hell are you bringing? <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, my sister live yeah. at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now, man, like Brandon said last week, man, we too damn grown. Time to Come pass on, the torch, man. man. Bring something. Bring something, man. 
Y'all watching this today. Y'all watching this today after Thanksgiving. If you ain't bring nothing on Thanksgiving, you ain't help cook nothing. You ain't pass no ingredients, no nothing. You ain't worth a damn. You ain't worth a diggity damn. damn. You ain't worth a diggity damn. Not a damn thing. Like damn. Your ass is not if, good enough. If, Stop just bringing your ass. I know. <laughs> you know about, you anybody eating that? <laughs> that hey, if, eating if that. you can't cook, uh, the least you can do is send a little bread for the like, food. Come on, man. Damn, what's up? Facts. Facts. Like, damn, you grow. I'm saying, Facts. if you are you a teenager or some shit, obviously not. But if you like 20 something, you're age, 22, 23, 21, you need to start, you you start thinking about it. Guys. If you're old enough to buy your own groceries, goddamn it, you're old now. enough to, yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. I ain't gonna lie. And we told y'all last week. I don't know how to cook nothing. Well, take your black ass, your punk ass on goddamn YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Oh, hold on. Hard. Hold on. I got something. Now we're talking about cooking food now. There has been a black woman on, on Twitter and TikTok that posted a, a baked mac and cheese recipe. To, uh, 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 it's Minnie. Uh, it ain't Minnie or something. Tiny. Tiny, my yeah, fault. Yeah, tiny. You said it was, yeah. it was a who? Tiny. What, what ethnicity was she? She was black. She was, oh, black. She was, okay. she was showing people how to make you know, baked Paris. mac and cheese. That's T.I. ex-wife, ain't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. whatever. Yeah. And y'all talking about it's nasty. It's disgusting. Bitch, you don't know how to cook anyway. You <laughs> fucked it up. Hit that button for Come me. On, Thank man. you. I'll hit it twice for you. Not bad food time for your man. <laughs> you been back. Like bitch, back. You wasn't cooking until you seen that video. That's just, that's just childish, man. Yeah. I'm tired of y'all talking about, oh, I don't know how to cook nothing. You motherfuckers be doom scrolling, and it's motherfuckers on there that's cooking shit. Right, Bars. cooking shit. So you just watching. But nothing. you just want to look at food, food, though. But you watching food, man. They just want to look at some food. Ooh, that look good. They ain't never going to cook shit, though. Big back, big back. How about you learn how to cook some shit? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just eat everything, shit. All right, greedy ass. That's, that's selfish. What selfish are you, Patrick Star, nigga? That ain't worth a damn. As hell. Nigga, man. big as hell, can't boy, cook nothing. Boy, what type of shit is that? Man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Rob, that quote Rob has is factual. If you're going to be big as hell, you need to be able to decipher all the ingredients that you put in your mouth. Hit right, that button. Bro. Molecular level. Molecular yeah, level. Got to. Got to. I need a full on spreadsheet. Got to. Come on. You better get Excel. Season shit. by season. Something. Man, hey, boy. It's crazy. It, it, oh, my God. Like, how, how you slow? How you slow, man? How you no, slow? Dude. How you slow with cooking? It's just, it's just free. It's just free. They got websites. They got YouTube, TikTok, mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook. Books. Books. <laughs> Books. It's all kinds of forms of media where you can learn how to cook some shit. You only need to learn how to cook one thing. Mm. Just bring one thing. Yeah. 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 Something simple. Like he bringing mash. DJ bringing mash Loaded potatoes. Loaded mash. Loaded mash. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. He's stepping oh, it up, shit. too. But you could just bring regular mashed potatoes. Now would suffice. Nah, you need some gravy, too, or something. Well, 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 I, well, well I mean, I didn't say, okay, gravy. I'm, I'm, I won't I'm be just, including any gravy, but I see what you're going. Mm. Well, someone else can make the gravy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're making loaded, so you'd be all right. Someone else can make the gravy. I made that. Veggie. But something, man, get some milk or whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? Make some mashed potato. <laughs> like, come on, Brandon. It's just not that difficult, it's man. Like, yeah, like, man. Like, take it from Brandon, right? In the house, Brandon is known as the chef. Mm -hmm. This man cooked breakfast, he cooked lunch, <laughs> and he cooked dinner. <laughs> I cook every day. Something yeah. you cook every day. And mm -hmm. he, you know, he he a gentleman gentleman. You know, he cooked for his lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cook for his boyfriend. Now, whoa, mm -hmm. that, that's wild. <laughs> I mean, okay. you guys are you guys are boys. You guys are all my my, my man man friends. God damn it, man friends. You, you never cook you, for me, then. You see what yes, I have? <laughs> look at oh, right. yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, yeah, too late. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. you didn't need to say that because now I took a turn that it wasn't supposed to take. But either way, the point is still the same. <laughs> I guess. Do you balls. think he just no spawned knowing how to do that? Mm. No. The nigga look some shit up. Yeah. Niggas fix some shit out. Mm. Okay. God damn it. Like, oh my God. It's just sad. It's just sad. It's actually sad as a human race that we have so much access hmm. to knowledge and we still don't know how to do so much shit. Don't abuse it, man. You know, what I've learned is for people who grew up with their parents work nights or like during the day and mm -hmm. then come home till late at night. Yeah. Nigga, you yeah. had to learn how to yeah, feed yourself. Oh, man. Facts. So, so like, I'm gonna tell I'm I'm going, I'm go I don't care what's in it, nigga. I'm going to cook. I'm going to eat something. Facts. So, Facts. I, I think it's a privilege. You get creative too, nigga. Yeah. Survival. I survival. Some, I be some straight bush or some time, Survival. Too, God damn it. Survival. Yes. You gotta learn how to survive. You gonna cook some shit. Fried egg and a tortilla and nothing else. Shit. Come on, now. <laughs> Struggling, but hey, hey, you gonna eat though. That's what I'm saying. You ate some. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I say. What that shit Brennan said? Every man for themselves. Oh God. 
Figure it out, nigga. Come on, man. Yeah, like, that was a fucked up night. Hey, man, but you had it happen. And, and if you country, you had them tuna sandwiches and tunas and crackers for at least yeah. four nights in a row. Yeah. Come on, man. I can't stand tuna because of that shit. Sp speaking yeah. of food. Speaking of, speaking of food and Thanksgiving, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Native American food, man. You know, sometimes I find myself scrolling on the taco on Instagram reels, man. Somebody said something very interesting to me. And they said, they said Native American restaurants are scarce or almost non-existent in that. America. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I started thinking, hmm, why is that? Nigga. Man, it's cause the food is trash. Nah, so, that food man, is trash. these I niggas got these niggas got that. crickets on popcorn and they got wild motherfucking rice and it's like some aquatic, it's like some aquatic grass seeds or something. <laughs> Who wants to eat that? That's, nah, why, that's why there's no fucking crazy. that's why there's no fucking Native American restaurant. Okay. 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 Jesus okay. Christ. Because I looked up the cuisine too, because I saw your topic, bro. I was like, what the fuck they be eating? <laughs> Yeah. I just see like vegetables and shit. <laughs> I, I ain't see no meat though. That's like, crazy. The they, meat? No, they have bison meat now. Oh, that shit mm -hmm. probably delicious. I am definitely. Yeah, that, that shit probably is good. I'm that definitely part is Native American, so like. Every black motherfucker I know is. Every black motherfucker I know is part Cherokee. Every black motherfucker red bone. Black and knees. I have documentation. I'll show y'all. Anyway. Okay, fine. Anyway. Uh, okay. So for one, I ain't never ate that shit. So <laughs> that's probably why it's probably trash. For one, okay. Two, um, ain't that really many of them niggas left? No, that's, that's facts. what. That's, that's where I thought. <laughs> if I'm being honest, that's where there. I thought Rob was going. They ain't really. Because that's a long pause. Left. I thought he's gonna say. Because I, I thought about interject, but let me just hear what your brother's gonna <laughs> say. I thought he's gonna say they all dead. Because the most of them are dead. Oh my God, <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say that. <laughs> or they are on <laughs> most reservations. Of them the verb is so harsh. Most of, most <laughs> of them are Lord. dead. If we didn't do it before bars, our black asses ain't do it, man. Bars, but yeah, that is factual. Though mm -hmm. a lot of them are gone. Mm -hmm. Now okay, they just mixed in a lot of other races lot. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, for but all y'all light skins talking about y'all Native American, stop that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You be. I ain't lying. Like that's just so just. It's, who believes you? I'm part Indian. They always say Indian. I'm part uh, Indian. Indian. Like, who believes Indian. you? Like, who the hell oh, really believes you? Nobody believes that Like, shit. come on, bro. You just mixed. It's okay. Niggas be killing me with that shit. Like, bruh. But no, we keep, uh, speaking of, like, the festivities and all that, bro, I know you had something to bring up again, man. Talking about the UK, Christmas, some bullshit. Like, <laughs> oh, that ain't me. Oh, oh that was me. Oh, my bad. Uh, my bad. That's my, my uh, bad. Uh, what, what was you talking about? So, there's a commercial. Uh, I think I sent it to you, Rob. Uh, Rob. That's crazy, bro. Crazy, Brian. I think I sent it to you. Uh, but did it's depicts uh, a black woman playing Mrs. Claus. You know, and Santa Claus is just sleeping, lounging while Mrs. Claus is going around and handling everything. Okay. And uh, a lot of men are mad. <laughs> what? What they? What they mad? Oh, why? Because. Because Mrs. Mrs. Claus is really the one putting the bows and make sure the elves are making the right toys no. and everything. But okay. uh, I want y'all to think to remember now. Y'all always make jokes, your men in general. We make jokes about not knowing kids' birthdays, uh, uh, social security numbers and shit. <laughs> so, one, what the <laughs> fuck do you expect? We, we already joke about it. They gonna crack a joke on us. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And realistically, do you think that nigga Santa Claus is doing all that him damn self when he has to go deliver the night after? Bars. Come on. Bars. Bars. Y'all not even following the every mythology. goddamn thing. For real. Well, he's a man yeah, can't do know. every damn thing, man. Behind every great man is a great woman. That's what y'all say. That's what y'all say. What's a god without a goddess? That's hey. what y'all say. Hey. Yo, y'all not even, you know, living by your own beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I don't see how, you know, how y'all can be mad at that shit. Mm. Shit, I'd be glad. Shit, go ahead, do that while I gotta sleep. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, low key. I gotta low sleep key. and deliver all these presents. Yeah, Woman, yeah. you go make do, sure them work. Right, the least yeah. you can do is make sure they work. <laughs> oh God, no, like, I'm bored, man. You can make sure they work and everything's all nice and dandy and perfect, and then I go and deliver the shit. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. crazy. That's how you keep a business running, fellas. Now I know we talked about this on the show before, but the ideology of Santa is still strange to me. It is. We it glorify a dude fat that, dude. yeah, he's fat as hell. Fat old. Yeah. Yeah. Fat dude. yeah. yeah. That trespasses. Hmm. And watches children while they sleep. 
I mean, God, my my God question does. still stands. Nah, does does that's the same? God watches you when you sleep. But that nigga's not in your room. Uh, quote unquote. No, not Again, no. I've right? Had, I've had this question since I was a young boy. If you know, <laughs> what a young boy, you I'm need dead. to change that. Uh, I agree. <laughs> that didn't sound so did, straight, did, bro. Did sound straight. Did I've had this question since I was a, a little lad, man. <laughs> if <laughs> back in the day, you know, people didn't like us, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Was Santa delivering the niggas? Or was he just leaving coal for them? Like We saw Boondocks. Riley was pissed. True. That nigga, you ain't never visited the hood. But <laughs> like, Santa what, Claus and, and, might not be no more, no more Santa Claus, nigga. Santa and Claus what time period did, did Santa Claus decide what? to be politically correct? Like, this is, <laughs> <laughs> these are all my questions. I don't understand it, man. Very valid. Very valid. <laughs> the Santa vote? Like, <laughs> like what? I'm gonna look that up. I want to know why Santa was created. Cause <laughs> Saint Nicholas is like some whole other different thing. Yeah. We took Santa. But we got we got to move on. We got move on. DJ, what, what you talking about, man? Oh, I think I've realized who the most dedicated people on earth are, and that is Square Smokers. Mm. Oh, uh, honorable mention, crackheads. Go ahead. Okay, mm. fair. Um, <laughs> square Smokers will find a way to smoke that square no matter what. Watch. Anywhere, anywhere. Tornado outside. Bars. Negative two blizzard. Bars. Driving with the windows down. Bars. But but they oh, they do say the cigarette will warm you up. Red Dead Redemption, the cigarette will warm you up when you smoke it. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's dirty as hell. Mosh probably know. I think Mosh played that game for. It does. Mm-hmm. Come on. That's it dirty. does. It does. When you when you going through the cold, yeah, you going through you the cold. A cigarette, it does. They warm you up. Nick's talking about a video game. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it works in real life though. Yes. Well, what is it? Liquor then? Listen, I, <laughs> at my job, at my, <laughs> at my job, we had to stand outside and shit, and, and goddamn it, this motherfucker smoking that square. Mm-hmm. And that motherfucker looked real warm and shit. Yeah, people, people be, you know, stop by him, making him pass me. Warm I seen business. a dude one time. Nah, hey, that dude, motherfucker. Was fuck. That motherfucker was in a wheelchair. The square. Yeah. I mean, shit, fuck it. That, mm-hmm. that, 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 I, I see guess. people with air tanks smoking cigarettes, and you know, I don't think that's even. I think that's dangerous to light a, a cigarette next to the goddamn oxygen tank, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of that shit is dangerous. Definitely. <laughs> like, no, right? To be that driving while smoking a square. I'd never forget that, man. That lady, she had one yeah. hand with the square and the other hand on the steering wheel. Many people do that. Mm-hmm. Smoking a ride. But she hit the bump. She hit the curb hard as hell. Okay. Ember drop. Huh? Said the ember of the cigarette drop. Hell yeah. Burn and she looking leg. around at us like we crazy. Motherfucker, you put that damn square down, you probably will hit that damn bump. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. shit. That, hey, they dedicated. I ain't gonna lie. In a different world, I might start a company and then instead of giving them like great pay, no, 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 ch- change that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get a plane. I'm gonna get a jet or some shit. This nigga. And go to Mount Everest and drop a box of squares on the motherfucking Mount Everest. And I wanna see if a motherfucker, one of them motherfuckers go get it. I think it'd be gone within that same day. Someone would do it just like, you know, someone would do it. Nah, just somebody gonna be it. climbing, they climbing they Mount Everest and gonna see that shit. Let's just get a square. Get They're gonna post on Instagram, go them They're smoking go that square it. on the top of Mount Everest. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> but motherfuckers gonna be cheering his ass on, though. Oh, as would. they should. As they should. Because you going through hell to get that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, right. But that Mount Everest square, you right. gonna climb that? Come on, man. Shit. Yeah, them niggas climbing Mount Everest is crazy. There's too many dead bodies out there. Yeah, they go stop them. Shit, donation. you tell that's Goku, nigga. Nah. <laughs> that nigga fun, snake way and just did it. We get them up. Real fun fact about Mount Everest: uh, so many people have shat on the mountain that like there's solid hard spikes of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. What it's the solid fuck? like hard rock <laughs> shit. It's wrong. And like, what? <laughs> how did okay. you come to find this out? I don't even fucking know, bro. I don't even know how I found this shit out. But there's so much shit on the mountain, like they have to like give people shit bags when they go walk up, just so they stop shitting on the side of the mountain. That is fucking ridiculous. Oh, no, <laughs> no, so you're like, saying over time, eventually Mount Everest could not be snow; it could just be hard rocks and shit. Okay, yes, you niggas. No. I'm dead. No, it would take a long yes, time. It would yes, take a long, it would take a long time, time. But, but yes, oh. yes, theoretically, yes. Yes, because said said hard no, rock said no. hard rock solid shit starts a slight <laughs> oh avalanche God. and digs up all. <laughs> it. 
<laughs> exactly. It's just gonna sit there and unless like, the Yeti's there. And like, me. let's say a turd just happens to roll down the mountain and start a fucking avalanche. <laughs> like, that's an avalanche of shit falling <laughs> off you. Like, that's a good one. like that's that's, that's terrifying. Funny, <laughs> that's hilarious. That is terrifying. that need to be like a cartoon or something. That's funny. That's funny. R- Rob, uh, y'all talking about some dirty shit. Rob, what you talking about, <laughs> man? man. I have recently learned some new information. You know, I be looking up a bunch of different stuff about cultures, and I have friends from many different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I did not know that some of these niggas is washing up with laundry detergent. Bro, what the fuck is going on? (laughs) God damn it. I'm not going to lie. You just pissed me off telling me that, because who the fuck is doing that? There are plenty of niggas, and if you ask a lot of Latins, they'll tell you. Yeah, that's a common thing in our household. (laughs) And I'll be like... Oh, what? Who? <laughs> do you still do that today? Okay. Yeah, I, sometimes, every once in okay, a while. Okay, given some of those people don't come here with a whole lot of money and, like, resources, so some of these people probably can't read and think that shit is just a big-ass bottle of No, <laughs> no, because they, they do that they do that back home, too, bro. <laughs> they do that back home, too? Yeah, they do that back home, too. There's, like, this specialty soap. We even use it at my job right now. You know Wendy's is full of the Mexicans, man. And we use some laundry detergent when we got to do our big grease cleans. <laughs> what the this hell? Man's so mm-hmm. funny. He's so funny. He's so funny. <laughs> 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 Look, honestly, that don't surprise me the way it surprised y'all, honestly. Because I've seen niggas take bird baths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Given, given, actual bird now, that, now that DJ is talking about this, like, you put nigga, like an actual bird bath? yes, I have took a bird bath in the sink in my bathroom one good time. <laughs> and DJ's a dickhead for message, so I'm going to just say I did it. I'm the nigga. I'm the bird bath. this nigga? Yeah. I'm the, <laughs> Bird bath, nigga. Okay, yes. Bro, can I please tell no, that no, story, that's, bro? That's, that's, go ahead, go can ahead. I please tell that I'll never forget, bro. You know, it's it's it's, it's summer, and I'm I'm headed to Samaya's crib. We live close by. We used to live close by. So I walk to his crib. His dad let me in. He's like, yeah, you upstairs. I'm like, all right, cool. I go to his room. He ain't in there, but I hear like some uh, sink water running, and uh, we had to go do something. So I go in to get him, and. I see this. I, I'm his door closed, but it's like peaked a little bit. So he ain't butt ass naked. He's not I naked. Butt naked. I nah, he naked. just had his shirt off. And I'm like, hey, what the hell you doing here? And I see this nigga with the fatigue water. On. He got soap all over his body. Nigga, no. I like nigga. What are you doing? He's like, nigga, I'm taking a bird bath. Fuck you. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Man, that's too much effort, man. <laughs> I can't believe show. it. I can't believe 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 it, bro. I can't believe it. It's one of the first I've ever seen in my life. Bro, my bird bat puts bro. me for the pits, and that's about oh, it. Oh, my goodness, bro, man. nigga, I had to make sure I wasn't musty as none, nigga. Oh. We was on a oh. time limit, nigga. Oh. I had to hurry up, get a bird bat. <laughs> bird this nigga, bat? This nigga already blew me walking in. <laughs> I'm in there taking a the bird bat. So I'm already embarrassed. So now I'm rushing <laughs> to take a bird bat. Crazy. It's all the funny shit in my life, bro. It's all the funny oh shit. I don't have some the of the- shirt off? The shirt off? Or the, the drawers? No, 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 no. He, had, he had everything on except okay. for the shirt. He okay. had everything on except for the shirt. I was just washing up, hurrying up, getting ready. So how'd you, how'd you get all the soap off? Like, it's just a sink, nigga. <laughs> you were just nigga, lathering. You just lathered with nigga. the water. It's funny as hell. <laughs> nigga, you was, nigga. Itchy. you was itchy after that. Bro. I was going to, I, I'm not going to sit here and explain the process to <laughs> nigga, you. Nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm already taking a bird bath. That's bad enough. Nigga, <laughs> nigga. You was itchy, uh, wasn't you? You was itchy no, after that. Oh, no. Nah, it was just uh, the skin was extra dry, though. <laughs> that nigga was itchy. You was itchy. You I was swear to God. Itchy. You took a few scratches. Some of the funniest <laughs> stories I've ever had in my life have been with this nigga, bro. I swear to God. But uh, speaking of some shit, man, I want to expose some shit real quick. Go ahead. I was having a conversation. Conversation with uh, one of my homies at my job and shit, and uh, his girlfriend is doing clinicals right now, so mm. she's working with ultrasounds and things Ultra like that. Salmon. And uh, you know, y'all ultrasounds do a lot more than uh, what we thought, y'all. And they, uh, you know, we know ultrasounds can uh, determine gender and stuff like that. Uh, did y'all know uh, uh, ultrasound can also see if your child will have a micro penis? <laughs> oh my god. So now I started thinking, man. Like, man, that's real fucked up, man. But you know, y'all, uh, you know how, because we, we commit macro penis is a terrible life. Man. So I really start thinking of like shit, like, is, you know, is it really worth it? God damn it. And hmm. so I start thinking, y'all know how 
you know, uh, you can also determine, doctors can also determine if your kids can, will have, you know, uh, autism, Down mm -hmm. syndrome, mm -hmm. things like that. Damn. Um, should, uh, what, what if the doctor, let, should they not let they, the potential, you know, parents know that they child <laughs> will have a micro penis. Yes. And, and I'm just I'm just saying, because, you know, I, if I'm a doctor, I would, this is how I would do. I will walk in. <laughs> once I see that little speck on that motherfucker, I know it's going to be a micro penis. I will go up to the family and I say, you guys, everything, this is, is, it is a boy. The gender is a boy. Um, he, He's extremely healthy. Everything is going well. However, there's one thing. It, it, it is about a 97% chance that your child will develop a, a micro penis. Um, <laughs> You know um, what? Yeah, uh, you know the the options are yours. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What it's options fucked up. are there? <laughs> it's fucked up. What options are there? You know I. Oh hell no, Brandon. I Brandon. I Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> listen, listen, me, listen, me motherfucker. Per, me I, I feel like there's yeah. no right. There's no right thing to do. There's no right thing <laughs> no, to do. No right we, thing know to do. we know it. We know it. Y'all know it. What? What, Mars, why are you looking like that? It's terrible life. Uh, me personally, my lineage cannot live on having small women. Come That's on, just man. Me. Small, small I'm just being way. honest. Hey. Listen. Hey. Lord have mercy. That's just me, though. <laughs> That's just but me, Listen, though. you but can't do nothing. You cannot do nothing with no Micro Johnson, brother. I'm sorry. You bro. can't do nothing. You, can't, you can hardly even be loved, for real. You can't MJ. find true love with the Micro Johnson. You, know, you can do all you want. With that, you can like you can like be the best man ever, the most kind man ever, whatever the case may be. You could be in a uh, relationship where the woman uh, uh, agrees to be abstinent, wait till marriage. At one point in time, the, the, the pain will be grazed, okay? Mm -hmm. And when she goes down there and all she feels is set. You know, oh my God. The, how I feel is... That's going to be a fucking yeah, problem, yeah. It will it not? It is. But it's not going to happen. She can love you all you want. You can't do nothing with that, man. What you gonna do? Flick your bean? Motherfucker, y'all bumping coochies at that point, man. Facts. Oh, come Facts. on, Facts. man. Y'all bumping coochies. I Facts. feel like you're forgetting the type of time period we living in, though, man. What? Surgery, man. No, it's not going to work, DJ. That's not enough. You, you know, don't know that. D I, I do know it. Well, yeah. I'm about to explain it right now because I had a conversation you. with many, many people about this because this is a real thing. And we're going to close after this. We're going to do that shit after this. Listen, okay. So, I had a conversation with someone. I didn't know. Y'all know how they have the, uh, you know, the the the, the BBLs. BBLs. Yeah. Also got the, you know, the DDLs, the Dominican yeah. Dick Lifts. Yeah. You no, know, that's actually a real thing. Mm. Yeah. I don't think it's called Dominican Dick Lifts. But <laughs> you know, actually, you have Mo Johnson within you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not just what you see. Oh. Yeah. There's more inside. So what they can oh. do is they pull, they can do like whatever, and they can pull out the extra Johnson so that is how, inside you. So how and then they can Goku move the skin had his too. Tail pulled so, out. They so can do that. They can kind of pull it out and extend like an extra, extra couple inches, whatever the case may be. But that's also dependent on the base size of your Johnson. Mm -hmm. So if you already got a micro Johnson, you're, you're only getting an extra point two five. I knew I had an inch and a half top, left in me. And on top of that, and on top of that, <laughs> it's more likely to have complications or potential to break. There's a reason why. It's you got more inside you, so mm -hmm. you can, it's more sturdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do all that, you just you put yourself <coughs> oh, at risk. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah more base. You on cooked. That. It well, just takes steroids, man. I'm just saying. To end the topic, you know, I have nothing to offer but dick and money, and oh uh, I don't have very much money. So uh, all I got is dick. That was hard. Got to keep it. That was hard. Gotta so if we had a Michael Johnson, what are we? <laughs> Nothing. 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 You are more than that. Okay, we're more than that. Yes, oh, yeah, I yeah, am. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, unless that, he's but... gonna be like the next goddamn Stephen Hawking, no one's like, his life's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's bars, man. I guess he had to be a he had to be in an open relationship. Even if he was Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking life sucked too. Look at him. He was in the nah, worst that's position. Bars, though. He would have to Anyways, y'all, yeah, uh, this open is ridiculous. Uh <laughs> Uh, we we got more coming up. We're gonna actually talk about some regular shit now. We're gonna do a list yeah, that was the regular shit on the uh, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar album GNX. We're gonna rank all the songs <laughs> and shit. Make sure y'all slide in there if y'all want to show support to us. Appreciate y'all. Catch y'all next week, man. Yes, sir. That's fine. Trying to tell y'all. So I'm the soap. DDL Drizzy. The soap goes in between the butt. Oh, man. The dick goes between your butt. Yeah, Drizzy. <laughs> they can tell. You know how they can tell? Cause usually like when you